Gestamp and the COVID-19, number three. Hello everyone, and welcome to the third edition of this podcast series aimed to keep us Gestamp people united and informed in these moments of lockdown in so many countries. Together, we are stronger. Wherever you are, we want to provide useful information. Today we have good news coming from China. We talked to Kevin Stubbs, Gestamp Asia president, and his words are uplifting. He explains how acting all as one, following the contingency plan and the measures instructed by health authorities do really work and will make us overcome the COVID-19 crisis. Here you are, the interview with Kevin Stubbs as recorded. Hello, Mr. Stubbs, uh, how are you? Hello, I'm fine. Okay, that's, I'm fine. that's very good to hear. Thank you for dedicating these moments to all Gestamp people in the world through this podcast. First question, uh, can you give us an update of uh, the situation right now in the 11 Gestamp plants in China? Yes, um, all our 11 plants here, including the, the R&D centers and the Shanghai office, are working somewhat normally. Uh, the plants in the north of China, so up in Shenyang, Beijing and Tianjin, are actually back up running at 100%. They are working two shifts per day, six days a week, uh, supporting our customers. Uh, the other plants, they are all supporting the customers on their needs. Uh, some are coming back slower than others, but today, just about every, well, yes, every plant is up and running, and we're ready to support the customers. So, uh, we understand that includes the Wuhan plant as well? Yes, that's correct. Uh, Wuhan came on stream last week. Uh, we started last Wednesday with about 24 people in the plants going through, doing all the safety check, checks, making sure the, the, facility, the facility was ready to, to start running. And last Friday, we, we received about 100 people into the plant, and we started off with some limited production um, on, for some of the immediate needs for our customers. Brilliant. And I have to say it's been an amazing response by the workers over there in Wuhan. You know, um, there's over 30 of them. They, they come from areas within Wuhan, which are still on lockdown. Yeah. They were allowed out of their local areas, and they've actually set up home in the plant. So they are actually living in the plant. We've brought temporary beds in for them, and we're cooking for them, and they're, they're living there. While, um, while we're still waiting for the restrictions to be lifted uh, from their local areas. So just a, a, an amazing response by the workforce and all that, considering what they've went through. Indeed, that's uh, an outstanding level of professionality. Congratulations. Yeah. So it is very, very good news to hear that the 11 plants are already working. Anyhow, we can imagine that you are taking all the necessary precautionary measures to protect still everyone from possible contagion. What measures are you taking? Can you detail them, please? Yeah, um, you know, right from the very start of this, we, we followed to the letter the advice we've been given from the, 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 the medical authorities uh, here in China. So we, we've set up temperature measurement stations as people enter the work. Everybody gets issued with two masks a day so they can wear the masks. We've got hand sanitizer. We have disinfected the plants and we do that again twice a day. Yeah. Uh, we set separate areas up for eating uh, and rest areas so people can social distance themselves. We're limiting the, the number of face-to-face -face meetings and, and we're really embracing the, the digital technology. Um, you know, here in China, we have a, a platform we call WeChat. Um, I think you've got similar ones in Europe. Yeah. And in, in China, everybody communicates through, through the platform. We've been lucky enough to, to exploit that system to our own benefit. And I have to say, the response again from the workforce has been amazing. We've, uh, we've done daily surveys. And for those people who who were unable to come to work um, or, or to communicate by the, the web, uh, their telephone, they've been logging on and updating us with their temperature and their status on a daily basis. 
So again, uh, great response by, by all, of, all of the Kistan employees in China. How's the daily work going on with all those measures in, in place? Do the measures have a, a very heavy impact on the, on the daily tasks? I, I wouldn't say a heavy impact. It's, you know, we are embracing the digital age here. Yeah. Um, you know, even within the plants, people will use Skype to hold meetings or the internal telephones. Obviously, travel throughout China has been, uh, been restricted. And we've just been told today that those restrictions are just starting to be lifted. However, we will keep all our travel down to a minimum. Uh, we keep, we keep people apart even when they're sending meetings there. You know, we keep that one meter distance from each other. Yeah, it, it's worked. It's, we've been very, very lucky. You know, all, all the 3,000 employees in China and today everybody's safe. Very good. Um, as you know, uh, we have this ongoing campaign, uh, Stay Strong, uh, Gestamp, that is acting uh, to unite people. This campaign, uh, Stay Strong, started in, in China. How did it start uh, and how did you like the support that it's given to, to this campaign from the entire company? Okay, yeah, the, the Stay, Star, Stay Strong campaign started with um, the, the Chinese workforce wanting to show their solidarity and support for what was happening in Wuhan. You know, Wuhan w was the center of this epidemic. This is where it started. And nobody imagined it would spread like it did. So the Stay Strong campaign was set up by the, the employees outside of Wuhan to show support uh, for those guys living over there. Very quickly, it became a stamped global campaign um, with with messages of well wishes and, and support coming from all over the Gestamp globe, which was, you know, was really heartwarming for us here in China to, to feel that support um, from Gestamp globally. And now, of course, with the with the virus spreading, it's it's great to see it becoming a global uh, calling, you know, and, and everybody is is really embrace the initiative and, and wishes and stay strong and stay stronger, Sam. Uh, do you have, Mr. Staffs, an estimation of uh, when the Gestam Asia plants uh, will recover the production levels that uh, you had before the crisis? Um, I can't really give you a date. That depends on our customers and how quickly the markets come back. But I will tell you that all of the plants, you know, we're adapting our production needs are on a daily basis to, to the requirements of our customers. Uh, and and we, we continue to serve them with whatever they require when they require it. Sure. Uh, and so far, we, we have not missed a single shipment to a customer what they've requested. And most of our customers are, are giving us encouragement and thanks for the support we're showing them. Um, Gestamp Asia headquarters are based in Shanghai. That's uh, where you personally live. Uh, beyond uh, the, the Gestamp activity, from a social point of view, how would you describe the social atmosphere, the, the feelings of people now that things are beginning to get back to normal? You know, living in a city um, like Shanghai with 25 million people, it, it's still a shock to the system when you go out and you, you don't see many people on the streets. You know, Shanghai was a bustling city, and even today, people are still reluctant to, to leave their homes uh, or their apartments after work. Um, restaurants and bars may be running at 20, 25% capacity, but again, slowly things are coming back. Um, you know, a lot of cars on the road this morning, uh, so things are starting to build up and get back to normality. And I, I have no doubt Within the next month, things will be back to how they were before this crisis hit us. As you know, uh, at the other end of this conversation, I am talking from Madrid, from, from Spain, uh, a country that is now perhaps at the very, very peak of the disease uh, with a very, very difficult uh, social and economic situation. And one uh, light of uh, positive hope is Gestamp will provide uh, some help coming from China. 
Uh, can you give us any details on this aid, what kind of uh, materials and support uh, are you going to deliver? Yes, um, so far we, we, we've, we, we've had our purchasing departments from, from all our facilities in, in China supporting us to, to get whatever we can in the way of medical supplies to ship to Spain. And I'm pleased to say so far today we have managed to get 100,000 surgical masks 200,000 of the N95 masks, uh, over 50,000 surgical gowns. We're getting over 100,000 glasses for the medical people to wear to protect their eyes. Uh, 50,000 of the latex gloves. Uh, and one of the good things we've managed to, to get our hands on here is over 50,000 coronavirus test kits which um, we will be delivering to uh, Inditex. Inditex yeah. is the parent company for Zara. Yep. They have a logistic facility here in China. Yes. And they very kindly have agreed to, to take the logistics on and to fly all this, all this equipment, which not just Gestamp, but other companies in China, not just Spanish companies, you know, a lot of Chinese companies are, are supporting this as well, and they will be delivering it to Spain within the coming week. So, again, that's a very good news. That's, that shows that the, the, the private yeah. companies can, can act really as a positive uh, factor to, to solve this crisis. Everything you have told us, Mr. Stubbs, is it's, it's very encouraging because it shows uh, how the, the, the spirit of, of unity works uh, in these cases. I will ask you now for a final message uh, from the place where everything began and the place that everyone is looking to now as the light at the end of tunnel, as the example of recovery. What can you tell us to, to end this conversation and to uplift uh, our spirits a little bit more? Yeah, I think everybody knows that this is a challenging situation, uh, probably unheard of in modern times. And my best advice is for everybody to, to listen to what they're being told from the, from the medical authorities, from the government, um, and, and let's face this together. You know, if you look what happened in China, um, and, and how the virus really caught hold and then they put all these measures in and it, 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 it dropped off and the amazing thing was Korea. Those guys were, you know, they, they were exploding faster than Italy was, mm -hmm. but they put these measures in place um, and, and that dropped off unbelievable. So please, my advice to everybody is listen to what you've been told to do do the self-isolation, take care of yourselves, take care of others. And as Mr. Rabiba said in his message to everybody in Gestamp, this crisis will pass. And the only way to get through it is we all work together and we all stay strong. Yeah? Stay strong, Gestamp. We will indeed follow your advice, uh, Mr. Stubbs. Kevin Stubbs, the president of uh, Gestamp Asia, thank you so much. And uh, congratulations to you and to all the Gestamp people in the Asia plans for this incredible level of uh, professionality and of positive spirit to go through this crisis. Thank you. Okay, thank you. And once again, thanks to everybody in Gestamp for the support they show China and hopefully we are going to give you guys the same support you showed us. Thank you very much. Take care. See you soon. Indeed, an important and positive message, the one conveyed by Kevin Stubbs in this conversation. Before ending, we want to remember that everybody can participate in the Stay Strong Gestamp actions by sending your supportive messages to the email internalcoms at gestamp.com. I repeat, internalcoms with two M's and one S at the end at gestamp.com. You can send texts, drawings by you or your kids, photos, videos, and of course, audios that may be included in these podcasts and can contribute to keep all of us motivated and united. Thanks for listening. Gestamp's priority is always the safety and well-being of our employees, along with the best service delivery to our clients. All Gestamp plants must follow the contingency plan. Our goal is to prevent and reduce the impact of the pandemic in our people and in our business. 
Stay Strong Gestamp. 